How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys six simple ways to change your IP address. And, uh, you know, there will be multiple ways here using proxies, a VPN and whatnot. So I'll get into all of that in just a minute. But before we begin, if you guys at any point would like to check for links to pricing and discounts or reviews, for the VPNs mentioned today, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. Now, first of all, you want to know what your IP address is. You can go to any IP address finder or just type in what is my IP address on Google and it'll give you your IP address. That's not my real IP address. Obviously, I'm using a VPN here to connect to Germany, which is why it shows that uh, I'm in Germany. Clearly, I'm not. It's just because I'm connected to the VPN. And we'll get to the VPNs again uh, in uh, the middle of the video, about the middle of the video. So let's get to the first option here, which is using proxies. Now, using proxies is a good way to uh, bypass certain geo restrictions, certainly not um, streaming service based geo restrictions but you can use these proxies you know some HTTP proxies SOX5 proxies SSH proxies uh, the problem with proxies is that they are not encrypted they don't use any encryption and that's the biggest uh, kind of uh, worry here uh, now you know I'm using this website right here these are free proxies you can uh, use I don't exactly recommend them unless you just you're just looking to change your IP address because these proxies could be used by other individuals since they're free. And um, yeah, these individuals, you never know what these individuals are doing on these proxies. And so, yeah, you could be linked to these people. And if any of these people using these proxies do, let's say, commit some kind of cybercrime, you could be linked to them. So you don't want any heat from that. Besides, using proxies offer no encryption. So it's just not that good of an idea. But it is one way to uh, change your IP address. Proxies work very similarly to VPNs, but with just far less versatility and security. Your internet connection goes through a middleman server so that websites and other online resources see the proxy server's IP address and not your own. Unlike VPNs, proxies often lack encryption uh, and they only affect certain apps and can leak your IP address through other means. Now, if you're interested in actually using a proxy, you can check out the guides right here on uh, the website. Uh, let's just go through the window. So you should just go to the search bar and look up proxy and right here, change proxy settings. Go down here, use a proxy server, put in the IP address and port in these uh, slots right here and save and you're good to go. That's really it. It's as simple as that. But again, I don't generally like using proxies because they're just far less secure. It's like using a VPN without the security, which is completely antithetical to uh, the very concept of using a VPN or changing your IP address in the first place. You want to secure yourself and cover up your tracks, not expose them further. Now, one other way to change your IP address, which is definitely more secure, less speed, but more secure, uh, is the Tor browser. And Tor is short for the Onion Router, which is a volunteer run anonymity network. And the easiest way to get started with Tor is to just simply download and install the Tor browser, a bare bones web browser that routes all web traffic through the Tor network. Tor encrypts your connection several times and then sends data through multiple nodes, servers operated by volunteer Tor supporters. Each node strips away one layer of encryption and the sequence of nodes used changes every time you access a different website. This makes it nearly impossible to trace Tor traffic back to the source. Now, websites will see the IP address of the last node in the chain called the exit node. Now, Tor is free, but it has its drawbacks. And once you download the Tor browser, you'll just get this folder and you can just start the Tor browser and you're in uh, and you have access to the dark web. Uh, now, it's relatively slow and only suited for basic web browsing. And Tor's anonymity means it is often associated with illicit activity and the dark web. So even though it's not illegal, using it may draw unwanted attention from your ISP and possibly even law enforcement. Uh, those entities can't see what you do 
while connected to Tor, but they can see that you are connected to Tor nodes. So they are able to identify that your real IP address is connected to Tor, which will be the reason why you might be bringing some unwanted attention towards your IP address, which is why it's important to use a VPN combined with the Tor browser for maximum anonymity. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the Tor browser. Now, another way to change your IP address is simply by unplugging your modem because you might be able to get a new IP address by unplugging your internet modem, waiting a few minutes and then plugging it back again. When this happens, you release your existing IP address so that your ISP can recycle it. And when you reconnect, your ISP assigns you a new IP address. Now, this method isn't guaranteed to work because your ISP might just give you the same IP address again. The longer you leave your modem unplugged, however, the higher the chance your IP address changes. And if unplugging for a few minutes doesn't get the job done, consider leaving it unplugged overnight and uh, your ISP must use dynamic IP addresses in order for this to work and if that doesn't work you can simply call your ISP to change your IP address they might have some questions and you can give them whatever answer uh, you can think of in order to convince them to change your IP address another way to change your IP address is simply by changing networks so you can use your uh, Wi-Fi hotspot uh, using your mobile data um, simply connect to I don't know maybe a, a portable router you get the idea. All you have to do is just switch networks and there you go, a new IP address on your device. And if you're on Windows, what you can do to change your IP address is simply go to CMD, run as administrator. I'm not going to run this because I don't want to expose my uh, IP address. But all you have to do is uh, after running as administrator, hit IP config forward slash release and then you hit enter and that's going to disconnect your internet uh no don't panic this is completely normal now all you have to do is write the same thing but this time forward slash renew and you should be getting a new ip address uh so yeah that's pretty much it and if you are on mac just follow my instructions click the apple menu and open system preferences select network Highlight the network that you're connected to in the left panel. Click Advanced, select the TCP slash IP tab, and then click Renew DHCP Lease. And uh, your Mac should now be assigned to a new local IP address. And you may notice that the IP addresses are very similar with just a single number changing. So yeah, that could be the change. If you think you got the same IP address, it's probably just a single number that changed. Now, in my opinion, the best way and most secure way to change your IP address is by using a VPN. And that's, uh, I have three VPNs here. Again, if you guys are interested, by the way, in learning more about these VPNs, I don't wanna make this video too long. Uh, you could check the reviews down below. But with a VPN, obviously, you are connecting your uh, device to a secured server, a private secured server. And a VPN is short for Virtual Private Network. Uh, and it encrypts your internet connection and routes it through a server in a location of your choosing. Websites, online services, and other devices on the web will only see the VPN server IP address and not your real IP address. VPNs are useful for torrenting, unblocking region log content like that from Netflix and BBC iPlayer, and bypassing censorship at schools, in offices, and in censorship heavy countries like China, um, Russia, UAE, Turkey. And most VPNs can easily hide your IPv4 address, but many VPNs can leak your IP address through various security vulnerabilities. Furthermore, not all VPNs hide your IPv6 uh, address. You should choose a VPN that either disables IPv6 or can prevent IPv6 leaks by default. And all these VPNs have IPv6 and DNS leak protection, and they're very reliable at that. And when it comes to using a VPN, it's just as simple as going to the VPN locations list, uh, and maybe choosing, let's just say the United States. I can let ExpressVPN choose the best uh, server for me, depending on my location, or I could choose whatever state myself. Typically, New York works very well for me, so I'm just gonna connect to that. And now it'll switch from Germany to New York the moment my VPN is connected, as you can tell here, now that it's connected. Let's just refresh my IP finder right here as well as on Google and see what happens. Now, obviously it has changed. 
and I am now in New York. See, it really is as simple as just clicking an on and off button, and I don't have to worry about any security issues, and I can connect to, let's say, any US-based streaming service such as Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and I can trust that ExpressVPN will not log my information and will give it to the authorities when asked to because of their uh, independently audited and verified no logs policy. If you'd like to know more about what I'm talking about, you should check the reviews down below. But overall, these VPNs all have a, a strict no logs policy and will not share your information, will not log your information in the first place uh, because that's what their policy states. And it's not just about what the policy states because every VPN claims that, but it's about showing evidence, having hard evidence to show for their claims. So yeah, again, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews. They'll give you more of an in-depth look into the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Besides that, Keep in mind that these VPNs do have a 30 day money back guarantee as well as 24 seven live chat support to help you with that refund if you're not satisfied with the service for whatever reason. And always stay safe when trying to change your IP address. And again, be careful with proxies. I would just recommend using uh, a VPN. Of course, that depends on your reasoning for changing your IP address. If you're trying to unblock Netflix, merely changing your IP address using a proxy or any other method is just not going to work. You must use a VPN because uh, streaming services and a lot of geo-restricted content track your IP address and they will be able to find out that you are using a proxy and will block you. Uh, otherwise, using a VPN will actually be using a true server located in New York, for example, right here in this case, and it will every website will treat you as if you are truly in New York. So again, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.